Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 92, Football Manager 19. We're playing with West Brom. A historic day or a historic week for West Bromwich Albion. Uh, we are in our first Europa League final in the club's 151 year history. Man City, surprisingly, in their first final in the club's 149 year history. I guess that's because I don't, I don't, honestly, I know nothing about Man City's history um, or West Brom's outside of what I learned uh, with the uh, welcoming email. But I'm guessing Man City was not very good for a long time. And then when they got the oil money, uh, then they just started sp outspending everybody. And they've only been in the Champions League. So it's hard to be in a Europa League final when you're never in the Europa League. Uh, also, speaking of Manchester, uh, Jose Mourinho was fired uh, this past week in the game. Uh, he was not completely let go, however. They kept him on as general manager and were going to hire a new uh, gaffer underneath him. Uh, that has to be, I swear, that has to be a new coding in one of the patch updates uh, with FM19 because I never saw Mourinho get fired in 18 or 17. Uh, I think he was with, I, I'm pretty sure he was with United in 17, but I don't recall him ever being fired. He's like the one guy that never got fired. Um, so I think they must have put a code in to allow him to get fired finally. So so good on uh good on SI. Uh so anyway, let's uh oh crap. We are having a ton of people get hurt in training. We're gonna have to wait to game day. I think I, I either have a bug or it's just it's just a glitch in the game. Um, let's see, next unread, he's out. Uh, we did lose Sebastian Strobel, uh, although, well, he failed his fitness test, so he's out, and maybe he is, is available? Where's he at? right here oh, okay so franishini was in uh, injured in training uh, we gave him injections and el amrani we gave him uh well he's returning we gave somebody else injections forget who it was or maybe oh no that was another save i'm sorry another my personal save all right well let's get into the final so this is the last oh before we do that, we have finished the Premier League. You remember who we were playing in the last match of the season, right? Come on, you remember. Both of y'all that watched last episode, Arsenal, yes. Arsenal won the league. We beat Arsenal 2-1. to one. We haven't been winning any Premier League games, and we're losing to clubs that we should win, and then we play Arsenal and we beat them 2-1. to one. Jake Robinson and Morgan Harris with goals. Harris, the game winner in the 85th minute. So we finished in 10th, solidly mid-table. And that's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, and then, of course, United, I mentioned uh, Europa League. And they fired Mourinho. We're not too far off here. I mean, well, what, 16 points this year? I just don't think we we did very well, but anyway, let's uh, let's pop back to here. So we have beaten City once. We've drawn four times. We're in in Istanbul. Oh, it's not Turkey. So everything I said last episode about uh, no Istanbul is Turkey. Istanbul is not its own country. Why? Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Uh, so we are underdogs. It's breezy. I'm going to go with our 4141. And, ooh, wow. 
We can we can pick a lot of substitutes in there, man. Where is uh? All right, I want Strobel's out. Bosdag, Esteban, Malone. There he is, Franischini. I mean, I didn't give him the injections to leave his ass on the bench. Now, <sighs> goals. Franischini has 16 and 47. He's also got 11 assists. But he's not 100% healthy. 24 and 5. Danny Olmo, Walter, Niambi, Coleman, Garcia. <sighs> Strobel's the one guy I'm going to really miss. Um, Russo. 19-year-old Italian. Actually, he's he's got decent pace, acceleration, work rate, determination. He's got some flair. Free kick taking, first touch, finishing. Holy shit. Why haven't I started this guy? Four goals, 13 and 17. Yeah, I don't know that the I don't know that the cup final is the place to start him, right? <laughs> but but could be well, that's going to be somebody I'm going to have to pay a little attention to next year, huh? Attacking mid-center, mid-right and center. Mid-center. Mid-center. Defensive mid. I really need... God, Brady, Bosdag, mid-right center. Do I have anybody else? Unregistered. Um, God, I really need, I would love him to play. Perry, Malone, Bosdag, Franischini, Russell Evans. Josh White unregistered. Brady's in there. Robinson. Jesus. Transfer listed. Um, what about Low? No, but he's a striker. I don't don't need him. Strobel's injured. Oh, wow, he's wanted by Liverpool and United? Well, they better pony up. Uh, Caputo's wanted by Bolton for a pretty hefty, hefty fee. Eric Garcia. Well, I don't see anybody else to put in there, guys. I guess this is, uh, this is the squad we're going to go with. All right, well, let's get to it. Yeah, but he's good, so he's going to play. Go out there and win the final for the supporters. You got what it takes. There's no way we win this, but I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> I don't think there's any way to win this. I, 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 you know, I mean, I think we should just get blown off the blocks. What the hell was that? Um, who the hell? What the hell is that name? Vanden Driesch? Just a guess. All right, so since we are here at the end of the season, oh, that's shit. 
God damn it, we have gotten burned here in the last 10 games of the season on plays just like that where they beat our last man. That is bullshit. Look at that. They just come off of him and it's an easy empty netter, basically. Damn it. Throw it to my guy and let him kick it in the net. Do a lead you, you know, that was cheap. Give us a free goal, just like Leeds United did for Aston Villa, those crybabies. Laid back. Come on, fellas. Oh, oh my God. He had to have been off sides. Rice, Sinclair, Harris, mid-center, defensive mid, uh, Danny Olmo, Sinclair and Rice. Boy, boy, boy. Uh, marking, passing, tackling. Dale, Rice. Who is... You know what? I'm going to move Rice outside. No, eh, no, Rice is better in the middle. All right, that's fine. We're going to go with that. I'm just going to get a little more aggressive. I mean, there's nothing to lose at this point. We're down 2-0. The anchor gives us a little defense. Let's give him some encouragement. All right, Coleman, Rice. Plays it to the other team. Why? Bailey steals it. Come on, fellas. Oh, nice tackle. Stolen by Chikwuma. No, oh, he lumps it over the top to Olmo. Puts it in. Come on, boys. Number 20 on the season. We are back 2-1 in this game. Still don't think we're going to win, but it's nice to get one back. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Tactics. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want. That's something I don't want to do. Standard, tighter, stuck in. Yeah, that's what we want to do. I don't like that far back defensive line. That's just like asking for trouble. Good defense. Stop that ball and get it out. Come on, fellas. Come on, boys. Oh, you should have been all over that ball. Oh. Benoit, his eighth of the season. Boy, that was a nice run across the face of the goal. Top of the box, and he just drilled it. Oh, shit. Uh, we're going to go to balanced. Show some passion. Uh, see, that's what you're supposed to do is clear it. And none of, <laughs> none of our guys were back. It's a breakaway. Oh, my God. 
What a save, and then he dinked the keeper on the rebound. <laughs> How is that even possible? How many goals have we... Oh, he was just waiting at the center of the line. Great save on the one-on-one, -on -one, and then he just dinked him. Shit. Oh, my God. 15 to 1. 15 to 1. I, I don't even know what to do here, guys. Um... Let's go there. Who can play mid left? Well, we can move Olmo. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's move Olmo back there. And then we can bring on Franashini. And we'll go with those two guys up top. Narrow defense. Hold shape. All right, we need Walter. Watch your step. Franashini's in. I know I said I didn't expect to win, but 4 1 in the first half is humiliating. Show some passion. Oh, man, that would have been nice to have gotten an early goal here. Uh, calm down. Fuck me. Uh, all right, Niambi, you are, uh, you're killing me. All right, McGuire, you got pace. Uh, Traverso, no. A lot of these guys I don't even want to see in the field, you know what I'm saying? Now, see, I could have moved Morgan Harris over to his spot. Uh, he's only playing a 6-3. Garcia's getting torched. Uh, let's go with McGuire. Damn it. Well, let's start looking towards next season. So we don't have, we've only got one guy that is, um, going out of contract. Neither one of you guys are doing anything. You know what? Who's this? Uh, yeah. You know what? Chikwuma, you're our leading goal scorer this year, but I'm going to give this Russo kid a shot. Just, we've lost the game. This is a young kid I'm interested in looking at. Well, I guess we're not going to see a highlight of him. Still. We made the finals, man. That's got to be... Fuck, I hate Man City. Not as much as Man United, but... Oh, that's just... Bullshit. <laughs> uh, yeah, disappointing, but, you know, hey. Uh, and you... Uh, assertive? I'm not pleased what I saw from you tonight. You're damn right I'm not. <laughs> um, oh. Ruth.
Caruso makes his debut. We get five and a quarter million for the making the final. Nothing wrong with that. We get another six point eight million from television revenue. That's great. Eighty three thousand from the ranking pool money. What a racket, man. This is a racket. This is just a racket to print money. As a championship league follower, some of this money needs to be given down to the lower levels to facilitate, you know, competitive spirit. Um, you know, we don't need to pay. We don't. There doesn't need to be. An, let me clarify. There does, there does not need to be enough money in the championship, just using the championship for an example, to sign players like Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo. Those players need to be at the top leagues, Premier, La Liga, uh, you know you know what I'm talking about. But, you know, when you've got clubs that are, you know, that can't afford, you know, to pay normal championship roster amounts uh, without going bankrupt uh, or folding, that's an issue. That's an issue. And the lower you go, the worse it gets. If, if they, you know, there's got to be a number that they could filter down to lower leagues to just help them survive uh, because there's not enough payouts in, in, you know, based, I mean, look at the money we just got. That's fucking ridiculous. 2.7. Well, we were not the biggest overachievers. That's strange. Um, let's get to the end of the season with our end of the year stuff. Yeah, we're, we're not really reeling, are we? All right, here we go. All right, Danny Olmo, 53% dominates fan player of the season, rightfully so. Dale Sinclair with the goal of the season. Morgan Harris on a free from Chelsea signing of the season. And Morgan Harris, the young player of the season at 23 years of age. Uh, we finished 10th, uh, lost in the finals of the Europa. 99% full on our attendance. Uh, we finished second out of the 20 premier clubs with 29 players. Uh, yeah, the 4-0 drubbing to Brighton and then the 5-0 win over Wolves. That's nice. Uh, God, we, we were top of the league there, and that was not after one match either. We did pretty good this year early on, and then we faded off. We just did not have... Discuss plans. Uh, I still think uh, top half. Uh, I don't think we're at the point. Job security, 64%. That was an upsetting result, but we made the final. Whatever, man. Uh, we'll confirm that. All right, Caputo does have a $31.5 million clause. What league is Bolton in? Bolton, oh, they finished second, so they are coming up, right? You know, if they want to drop $31 million, I, I'll go find another keeper, I think. Uh, Matt Ingram, Euro Cup player of the season. Nice. And Euro Cup squad of the season. Garcia, El Amrani on the back line. Ingram on the right. Franashini, Chikwuma up top. We actually have more. Well, we have, yeah, we've got more players than Man City did. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> um, so, ooh. Oh, our initial budget's $108 million for payroll and transfer at $127. We're currently spending 102. We're going to fail FFP this year, unfortunately. So we're not going to spend a lot of money this year, I don't believe. Uh, they are expanding by 11,000 seats. We also are doing a, uh, so we got 33 million 
for finishing 10th in the Premier, and they're spending $22 million of that on uh, training upgrades, so that's good. Uh, we're also getting a seat expansion, so that should be done before the season starts, maybe. Good. Annual youth audit. We kept that, kept that. All right, let's look at the squad. If we look at expiring contracts, um, David Todd, he's only three star. I don't, well, he plays a number 10, which I don't really use. And I don't think he's really, he, he doesn't really fit passing. I mean, he's not horrible. Oh, yeah, we've listed him. That's right. Chicago Fire. They've offered some money for him. What was that for? Let's check. Transfers. Uh, outgoing. David Todd. On a free? Oh, yeah, they signed him on a free. Bummer. All right, so he's gone. Russell Evans is on loan at Plymouth. Do we want to re-sign him? He's only two and a half star. Probably not. Uh, I use the star rating a lot to figure this out. So, you know, we figure out that our overall potential is about a three star for our starting 11, right? And you can see we're actually pretty low. Well, a lot of that's because of crap. But if we go here, yeah, that puts that's about the middle of our starting 11. And we've got a handful of guys that are three-star plus. So that's kind of what I judge things off of. So let's see, going back up here, he's gone. He can go. He's gone. Um, Josh White. Well, he's on loan from Everton, and he did not play at all. I wanted to play him some, but we ended up stronger at striker than I thought. And we ended up playing that one striker position a lot of the season because we just were not doing well. Uh, Ryan Nyambi, that's next year. So, yeah, we've only got those four guys out of contract this year. I think Danny Olmo, he's 31. He's got one more year. We may try to sign him to maybe a three-year deal, have him kind of fall off at about 34. But he's doing real well. Depends on how much he wants, though. May try to move him and get some money. But, uh, he's worth $44.5 million. So at 31, that's a guy that I'd like to maybe bank and then buy somebody younger to come in and fill his role. Uh, Joe Riley, 32, uh, 384000 He can go. In fact, we are going to uh, transfer... Offer to clubs. Uh, I'll move him for two fifty and twenty percent of profit. Uh, let's see, Bobby Brady. He's not a bad backup. Five goals, four assists, fourteen starts. I mean, you know. We, we need to upgrade our, our backups, but, you know, we also have to keep our backups affordable. So uh, Malone, I'd like to develop him. Four-star potential, um, 13 million. Yeah, I could, see, I, I could see him getting some more playing time. Cole Clough, he can probably go. How old is he? Well, he's only 19, so I'm not in a hurry to move him, but assuming he's not going to get any better than that, right? Um, you know, we'll see if he develops anymore. We can get some more money. I would really like to upgrade. As good as he's done, I'd like to upgrade center back. Brendan Taylor is that mid-right. I guess... think we're okay here again I could move Caputo um, 
Jesus is not bad. I don't mind him in the least. He's got really good, you know, pretty good ratings. If we compare him with Caputo, I mean, Caputo is better all around. But Jesus has some speed. He's equal in communication. And he's right there on a few of these. And he'll make a lot of these up because he's 25. There's only a, eight, a year apart, but I think a lot of this advantages from playing um so yeah if we get an offer from him i'm okay going with jesus next year i think and then we could always you know maybe look at finding another keeper um i would like him to maybe become my left back perry's a right back uh, he is on loan at Levante. Oh, he's the guy that he's on a youth work permit. He cannot even play. He's good enough to play. He would probably start for me. Oh, if you know how to get somebody into your senior squad like that, let me know. Uh, cause I would be interested to find out, uh, Declan Rice. Eric Garcia, again, I'd like to maybe upgrade that. Ryan Nyambi, I mean, he played a 707, but a 57 his last match. I'd like to upgrade that. In fact, he's valued at 11 million. I'm gonna I'm gonna transfer list him. Uh 16, I'm okay with that. And let's go 30%. Because I really need to upgrade that right side. God, I wish I could get him to play. Uh, Stuart Coleman, he still has upside. Morgan Harris, I like him. He could be he could be my right side guy, could he not? It's not natural for him, but wing back on attack. Yeah, he doesn't cross quite as well, but he's got everything else. He's got the defense, the mentals. I, I could see playing him. So that's possible. Cole Cliff needs to go. Um, let's see. The, the, uh, transfer status transfer listed uh, Riley Riley can go I've offered him out have I not yeah not needed all right uh, let's see Strobel 44, Henrik Walter. Uh, you know, he was an upgrade, and that's the sad thing. I'd like to I'd like to get somebody else on the left side. These guys are all expendable. Ingram, backups. Uh Franischini, Malone, Russo. Where is uh, Chikwuma's only 26? 33. What is that? Oh, headers one per 90. Man. Um, Josh White's going to go back. Ramon Esteban. You know what? He was whinging a little bit. We can... Uh, we can offer him out to clubs. He's valued at 33. Yeah, let's go 48.5 and 30%. Offer to clubs. So we'll try to make a little money this year. I would probably take an offer for either Chikwuma or Franashini because I have these two real young strikers. Uh, 50 million and 41 million. I would probably sell either one of them. I'd like to move Chikwuma just because he's at seven. Um, but he is under contract a year longer. Franashini's probably going to go way up on cost. 
anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments about what we need, where we should upgrade. Um, and, uh, you know, that's what I'll be working on in the off season. Uh, the other thing that we have talked about is when to pull the plug on this. I think we've taken a step with the Europa League final. Um, I would like not to finish 10th. I'd like to finish in that 7-8 hole and be challenging for Europa League every year. Uh, so I'm going to keep going, but I've got an idea. I think what I would like to do is um, a South American journeyman. Um, and I know, you know, I know, you know, I guess the one thing for me is, like I said, if I'm, I'm, I'm only going to play games that I like and I don't have a viewership uh, and, I, you know, look, I appreciate those of you that watch. If you're watching this, thank you very much. But you can look at my numbers and you can see, I mean, there's guys that get, you know, 30,000 views, 15,000 views. I, I get less than 10. So it's not like I'm going to alienate a lot of people by doing something I want to do. And most of you guys that watch and comment seem pretty level-headed and, and, you know, and I consider us to be, you know, be friends. And, you know, we, we chat about a lot of different stuff and it doesn't always have to be video related, but, uh, you know, not many people do, you know, Western hemisphere, you know, I mean, Loki Doki does, you know, he does great journeyman's. I love his journeyman's. Um, but he's doing where he's been in, uh, he's in Sweden currently, uh, had an aborted attempt going to Russia, but you know, all of his have basically been Europe, European. Um, and that's great. I mean, he, he, you know, he is English. He lives in, where does he live? Scotland or something like that. I think Scotland and, uh, the Northern Highlands, I believe he said, uh, something like that. But, you know, so, so he's talking about where, of course he ridiculed America. He was, when he was talking about one of his players, that was getting uh, some interest from some MLS clubs. Oh, it was in his uh, Game of Thrones uh, uh, experiment. Uh, yeah, and so somebody was uh, getting some interest from MLS. And look, I understand the MLS is not the Premier League. It's not even the Championship League. But you know, it's you know, it's come a long way, and it is what it is. It's it's the fifth or sixth or seventh sport in our country. Um, whereas football in, in Europe is your number one sport. It's not even, you know, not even remotely close, uh, to, to, you know, top five, probably, um, you know, a lot of people like it and watch it, but it's, it's not the spectator sport, you know, that American football, basketball, you know, things like that. Anyway, um, I think I'm thinking about a, a South American, uh, save. I want to kind of go and, and look at it. I may fire up a, a solo save cause I, I haven't played in South America in a long time. And I seem to recall there were some really funky issues there, you know, with, with, and basically just having man city and man United come in and buy all your players that were worth a shit. Um, you know, that it was kind of hard to develop a, a strong side. Um, but I, and I don't think there's any tie-ins to champions league. That would be a drawback. So anyway, I'm just giving some thought right now, you know, cause there will be a new save coming at some point sooner rather than later. I mean, you know, we're probably in our last couple of seasons. Uh, with this at, at best. Um, but anyway, if you have some thoughts, you know, talk, chat it up in the comments. <laughs> I'd love to hear what you guys think. If there's a country or a continent you think we ought to look at, um, that would be cool. Um, my journeyman last year, I had a lot of fun in Sweden with Hammerby. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that one. But, you know, I want to do something different and, you know, going to the other hemisphere. Uh, the, the other side of the world is kind of good. Um, but anyway, 10th place. Yeah. I mean, at least we were, we were mid table. We didn't get relegated. We weren't really close and we did make the Europa league finals. 
Unfortunately, that doesn't do anything for us next season, so we will not be in, in uh, Europe next year. Uh, we will just be playing Premier, which may actually be good and let us refocus. Uh, we need to work on our finances and get those under control. Uh, we lost $46 million. How the fuck did we do that? That can't be right. No, that can't be right. We started in... I mean, we started right about here, yeah? 87? Now we're at 106? 116? I don't know. Anyway, we'll see what losing, uh, failing the FFP does to us. I don't know if that's going to affect us. Didn't it say it was like a five-point deduction, so we'd be at 46? So we'd still be 13th. So I don't think we have that big of an issue with uh, being relegated. Not Hopefully not. Uh, Wolves, Norwich, and <laughs> Watford going down. And what about uh, championship? Who's coming up this year? Uh, looks like Huddersfield in the playoffs. Uh, Bolton and Bournemouth. So, oh, wow, Bournemouth ran away with it. 102 points. Wow. Tottenham was right there. Uh, Tom T will be happy. Four points. They're going to Europe for the Champions League next year. Um, Chelsea, Man United. Uh, I don't see taking another job. Um, if another job did pop up, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it would be worth taking another job because then this just becomes a journeyman save, and we're already in the Premier League. So yeah, I don't see doing that. Um, but we, you know, we another another year, maybe two. Uh, you know, again, just to kind of see how we do if we're if we're kind of entrenched. Where uh um 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 Premier League overview stages there we go that's what I'm looking for all right so let's see we were tenth this year seventh last year eighth and that was the year before I was not there. So let's see. When did I come to West Brom? Club. Head coaches. I took over Christmas of 26. All right, so let's go back to here. Okay, that was right. We were, we were down in relegation phase mid-season when I took over and we finished eighth so that was my first year so they had just gotten promoted the year before it looks like and then we're on the verge of being relegated out so I think we've done the job you coming come on I think we've done the job for West Brom as far as keeping them in the Premier League seriously you want to talk in the mic uh you want to lay down? People are trying to watch. A couple of people, please. Hello? All right. We'll take off. Um, but I think we've done the job with them. I mean, they were almost on relegation when we took over. We got them up to eighth, seventh in Europe, tenth. So I think another year mid-table or better, tenth or, you know, somewhere tenth, eleventh or better, I think we've done the job to – make them perennial Premier League. I saw you over there biting my freaking cable. Shit. <laughs> um, I think you will have done the job. So maybe one more year. Well, one more year for sure. Maybe two. Guys, leave a like. Subscribe. Sorry for the ramble here at the end. I was just thinking out loud and thinking about what I was seeing here on the screen. Uh, but anyway, let me know your comments, your thoughts. And uh, yeah, I think we had a shit year. I mean, 19 losses, thats that was horrible. Uh, so we need to do better. We'll see you next season. Take care. Bye.